Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to describe how Notify integrates with several different remote services. The first and most obvious way is that you can choose to share your notes to several different remote services. Currently Box.net, Dropbox, Evernote and Google Docs are supported. Depending on the service you will get different choices of what to export. On some services you will also get the choice about which folder on the remote service you wish to export into. Another place where remote services are integrated is the notebook list. Here, currently only Box.net, Dropbox and Notify web service are supported. To use any of them, simply press the service you wish to use and find the file you wish to open and it will be downloaded and opened as a new notebook. If you use the Notify web service, you will also still have the option of choosing what attributes of the remote notebooks to display and what sort order to use. Any other service, you will just see the supported files sorted alphabetically though. Another place where you can download files from a remote service is the Insert Document menu. Any file you choose here will be downloaded and inserted into the notebook you currently have open. If you go into the Preferences and choose the section for Remote Services, you will also have the option to automatically sync any changes you make to your notebooks to either Evernote or Google Docs or both as PDFs. In this list you also have the option to delete all remembered credentials for remote services. As you can see here in the list, I have syncing to Evernote enabled, so if I create a new notebook and then just add a couple of scribbles to it and then move over to my Evernote client, I can immediately see any changes that I just made in my notebook. Finally, Notify also has its own built-in web server, which you can use to share your notebooks either to another Notify client or to any browser on the same network as your Notify device. To enable the web server, just go into the Share menu where you can either start or stop it. You also have the option of specifying a username and password for access if you go into the preferences for the remote service. Here you can see the list of notebooks currently shared by a Notify web server. Thank you for watching.